Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. State highway officials want you to have a plan before heading out over the Bay Bridge this weekend. They are asking you to travel early or late at night to avoid peak travel hours and delays. Still, you're likely to encounter some kind of delay whether you are heading to the beach or back from it. Motorists should expect delays in both directions. Um, you, will, you shall see heavy traffic eastbound on Friday and Saturday and on westbound on Sunday and Monday. All right, again, it's important to have an easy pass. And since cash tolls are gone now, having one will save you both time and money during your travel. And the town of Ocean City is asking you to be safe in another way this weekend. If you are visiting the beach and the boardwalk, you are being asked to practice social distancing and to keep gatherings small. Masks are required when you're in a public place and people should wash their hands often to stop the spread of COVID-19. And they're also asking you to be kind and be patient. And remember, we're all in this together. That's coming from Ocean City. A program that helps low income veterans is now looking for more people to help during this uncertain time. It's called Project Phase and it and it's also helping meet the housing needs of nearly 500 veterans here in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. They do it every year. Money from the program can go toward move in cost, eviction prevention and employment. The project was awarded more money through the CARES Act because of the pandemic and it's looking for more people now to help. And Baltimore City pools and rec centers are expected to open later on this month. Mayor Jack Young made that announcement on Thursday. The first round of pools will reopen on July the 13th and more will be opening on the 20th. And also you are required to practice social distancing and wear your mask on the deck. And you'll also have your temperature checked right there at the front gate. And there will be an admission ticket policy. So you have to register to swim at all of our pools. Now this year, again, different. Um, an hour and a half is the maximum time you'll be allowed to swim. And the tickets will help with crowd control and will give crews a chance to clean the pool areas regularly. And now kiddie pools and splash pads will still remain shut down. And we'll start off with plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. Uh, daytime highs tomorrow afternoon. Look at this. Look at me looking to make it back up into the mid 90s and it's going to be feeling it that way as well. Uh, as we head into the next few days, we are going to keep our temperatures above normal, especially for tomorrow and Saturday, keeping that chance for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms in the forecast as well. And then a few isolated showers could be the case as we start off early next week. All right, thank you. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store where you can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.